All right, yesterday I talked about um, how when you are living life and doing work that is in alignment with your personal values and with the identity of your best self, like who you wish to be, who you want to be in the world, that you will make wake up motivated every day that you'll, you know, by living life on purpose, on in alignment with your purpose, that motivation will come naturally and easily to you for whatever work you want to accomplish, even if it's like some massive goal, right? One of the big sticking points in that is, um, is values. And values can feel like such an amorphous and like, um, like, like, it can it can feel like it's something that's hard to grab onto, right? Like where do values come from? What are my values? What values should I have, etc.? And I heard something the other day that just completely like I don't know why this hit me the way that it did. And you know, for you maybe you'll, you're going to think, oh, that's super obvious, Roy. This is so stupid. <laughs> but uh, that, when this when I heard this, it was like, duh. And, oh my goodness, how come I have never thought of it that way? And, um, and, and this lesson is that you choose your values. Like this totally hit me like a freaking ton of bricks. That you choose your values. And I was listening to this, this webinar from Peter Schaller, the founder of Commit Action. By the way, there's I did a great interview with him. I'll include a link in the description to that. Uh, but what he said was values are something we can choose to adopt. This is really exciting. We can choose our values, right? And uh, like I said, this this hit me like a ton of bricks because I don't know that I'd ever explicitly thought or asked, maybe I have at some point, um, where values actually come from, right? And I think the vast majority of us understand values as being something that we pick up from culture, that we pick up from our families, that we pick up from um, all of these external sources. We may pick it up from things that we read, the media that we consume. It, it can come from lots of places, right? Uh, but in general, we think of values as being something that are um, maybe more universal. They're human values. They feel like they're external. Some of us feel like they come from God or spirit or some um, someplace in the context of religion. In all of those cases, though, what I'm talking about is external values, right? And so there is this, as long as we are assuming that our values come from this external place, what that means is they are not in our control. And so oftentimes I think that that can lead to some pretty dark places. Like if we feel like what we value is not necessarily in alignment with, let's say, the religion of our upbringing, we can feel very guilty. We can feel full of shame. We can feel like we are, there's something wrong with us, right? And yes, all of those sources of values have value in themselves and have influence, right? But ultimately, for your life, you choose, right? Like Peter said, you choose where your values fall. You choose what your values are. You choose your values. And that is internal, right? You choose what you are going to adopt in terms of all those influences from all those places. What are you going to value, right? And when I heard that, it was like, okay, um, I, it just it just struck me as being a completely different way to think about this, and it resonated as as true with me. And um, what I would say is like this is honestly it becomes the single most important thing that you can know. The single most empowering thing that you can know about values is uh, in the context of all of your influences, all of the people that are telling you what you should do and how you should live your life, um, you have to choose what is the best for you and what you value, what you elevate above everything else as the criteria for um, what you consider to be the good life, right? 
And this changes it from this, this passive process of, of just accepting what's given to you into an active process where your intention allows you to kind of create the, the life and the perspective on life that you want. Um, now, I do believe that there are some kind of human values that, you know, for example, not killing other people is one of those things that's a pretty good, fairly universal value. And I, I would start to worry if you value killing other people. Um, but in 99.99% of the cases for, you know, pretty much all of us, that's not a value that's in question, right? And the really important, um, the really important understanding of this on, on like a day-to-day -day basis is, for example, how your values are reflected in the work that you're doing, the clients that you pursue, the clients that you say yes and no to, right? And um, how your values are reflected in your relationships, in your day-to-day -day activities, uh, all, all the interactions that you have with the people around you. Because I talk, you know, because the main focus of, of what I do here at Breakthrough Marketing Secrets is about work, we're gonna focus mostly on work, but um, values do exist in all these different areas of our of our life and actually um that in that peter shellard webinar for commit action he talked about this the the kairos uh values perspectives model kairos values perspectives model and uh, basically this this group that's, that's done this research on values says that they exist in these different areas of our lives and so for those of you who are watching the video um, in uh, near the top on the left there, there is the grounding values. And this is valuing, you know, basic things that we each need to survive and to be secure. So, you know, uh, food, water, physical security, affection, like, uh, you know, a, a basic family connection or like a, a peer connection that supports our survival. Uh, the grounding values. And then there's family values, valuing those we are closest to. Notably, that's not necessarily blood family. Um, it can be it can be just those who we are closest to, our, our closest group uh, in our life, right? Management values, valuing institutions and structures that allow us to achieve in the world. So here we start to get into things that are more like our career choices, our businesses, um, but but also other structures and institutions that allow us to achieve in the world, right? Uh, relational value, valuing awareness of our own values and those of others. So how we interact with other human beings, that becomes an important part of our total values system. Systems, valuing multi-level interconnections with people and ideas. So this is um, on, on maybe a, a bigger systemic level, societal level, like what is important in that regard. And expansion is valuing aspirations that are universal in scope. Like, so what are the bigger things that we value? And um, in the context of all of these, there's entire lists of values that you can recognize as like, yeah, that's something that's important to me. That's something that's important to me. That's something that it's that's important to me. That's beyond the scope of what we're going to cover in this episode. But um, essentially, the more conscious you make all of this, right? Like, what are my grounding values? What are my systems values? What are my management values? What are my family expansion relational values, right? Um, the more conscious and intentional you make all of that, the easier they become to, to use as a tool to help guide you in making decisions in your life and choosing, for example, what work you're going to take on and what work you won't. Uh, it's also worth noting here that values are dynamic. Uh, some are more permanent. Uh, so things like valuing, valuing human life may be something that's pretty consistent throughout your lifespan. But some things like, um, for example, financial security becomes one of those values, right? Uh, economic security for yourself and your family, your loved ones. If you 
um, are in a place where your basic survival values are taken care of and you are starting to feel like, oh, I'm kind of working paycheck to paycheck or I don't have a lot of economic security, but I'm, I'm making some income now and my basic needs are taken care of, then you might start to think about something like, okay, how can I accumulate enough resources such that, um, such that I'm not so worried about economic security going forward? And then later, after you've been successful with that, it may actually become a little less um, central of a value for you to, to focus on economic security because, hey, it's more taken care of, right? Um, so it can change with the seasons you know, of life, right? Um, and also how you apply these values, how they influence your work, your projects, your activities in life are going to change as the importance of the values changes in your life. Now, all of this to say, that you get to choose your values and create your purpose. And this is something where right now this is a relevant activity because, because values are so dynamic, it's, it's relevant to do this at any time. And maybe if you just did it yesterday, it's not <laughs> as relevant anymore. But um, you sit down and you say, what's important to me today? Like, what is, what is it that I value most today? And then how can that be reflected in my work? And so don't wait for the sky to open up, right? Values don't necessarily come to you externally. Like you can feel inspired as you are identifying your values. You can feel like they come from some place or you can feel like they're just being chosen, right? Like you're just recognizing that's important to me. That's not as important to me, right? So you choose your values and um, the training that I'm actually doing Thursday for my BTMS Insiders members in, is part of what that um, what the exercise is, is choosing your values um, from lists and just identifying that's this is important to me. That's important to me. That's important to me um, as a way to trigger the thinking process of, you know, what is my purpose? Like, what purpose am I choosing? Right because you're going to define your purpose, right? So this is, this is all an active process. It's not a passive process. And that's the big point here, right? You sit down and you define, if I need purpose in my life, if I'm feeling disconnected from my purpose, I sit down and I say, what do I value, right? Uh, what are my values? Who do, who do I want to be? How, how do I want to manifest my values in the world. And I sit down and I just go through that thinking process, right? And it's valuable because values through a chain of events lead to value for you, right? Um, and, and so if, if, Again, because this is breakthrough marketing secrets, I, I feel this obligation to connect this back to, and here's how this makes you successful in marketing and copywriting and business and all of that stuff. And um, ultimately, on some level, I think that being in alignment with your values is probably more important than any kind of income or whatever that I can that I can help you achieve. But being in alignment with your values and creating things in the world that are manifestations of your values will also be attractive to all sorts of success, including financial success. So when you are in alignment with your values, you will find motivation. We talked about that yesterday. When you have motivation, you will have more creative action. You will create more great things in the world. You'll be taking more action. When you do this creative action, whatever it is, whatever problems you're solving, whatever, whatever that is, when you're doing more creative action, you're going to create more value. Creative action equals value creation. And when you create more value for other people, your income will increase as well, whether this is happening on a personal level or on, for example, a company level, right? And so values in themselves may not be obviously like, oh, I'm living a life of integrity, right? 
that does not necessarily, it, it doesn't actually necessarily lead to income. But if you're living a life of integrity where you are creating value for other people, it is almost inevitable that you are going to end up in a situation where you are creating more income for yourself. So my call to action for you from this episode, number one is to ask yourself how you can use this. You know, do you need to sit down and go through an exercise where your values are elicited, where you um, define really what you want your purpose to be? And maybe, you know, it's, it's December. This is the time where people really start to think about what do I want the next year of my life to look like? Do you need to sit down and define all this stuff before you define your projects and plans for the next year so that those projects and plans can be more in alignment with your identity and who you want to be and your values? And from that place, be able to have a better, you know, 2023. So how can you use this? Also, I appreciate you for liking and subscribing. You can subscribe here. Uh, you can subscribe at BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com to get daily uh, email updates as these episodes come out. Check the links in the description to finding purpose in your work and life. That's my training where I'll be going through this exercise with my BTMS Insiders members. I'll also include a link to the interview with Peter Schallard of Commit Action on accomplishing your biggest goals this year. And I'll include a link to learn more about Commit Action Coaching uh, where I actually got access to that webinar. So I'm Roy Fur, this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I do this every day uh, and in every episode I'm here helping you, you know, sometimes live a better life and sometimes do better marketing. And um, with that, I will see you in the next episode. See you soon. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.